Hey Dax, it's me again, baby. I'm just coming back around and give you some more friendly advice. On dodgeball, it is. From the dodgeball king. Numero uno. When on the dodgeball court, the best offense is a good defense. That means you don't run to the back of the court and hide from every damn body. You run up to the front and you grab a ball and you knock the hell out of somebody with it. Running to the back of the court's only going to do two things for you, brother. Make you look like you're scared. And keep you away from your number one objective. Win the game. How do we win the game of dodgeball? We get the ball and we knock people out with it. That's what we do. Now I, now I understand that your master strategy is to gather up as many balls as you can and turn yourself into a dodgeball machine gun which in theory is a good idea but there is a flaw with that the more balls you have the bigger targets you become man and a target is one thing you do not want to be in a game of dodgeball the best defense is if you do not have a ball for which to hurl at someone else's head knock them completely off the course is to keep moving. The quicker you are, the harder it's going to be to hit you. Make strange and erratic movements, which for you, Dax Flames, I do not believe would be a hard thing to pull off. Dax, I'm going to discuss something that is totally between you and me, brother. If you are not Dax Flame and you're watching this video, stop it right now because this is a private matter that only me and Dax can discuss. Okay Dax, now that everyone has hit the stop button and they're not watching this, I have something very important to tell you. Do not, under any circumstances, throw like a girl. Now I have seen your basketball video, I'm going to look it up, just to confirm my theory. But in watching you simulate your throwing of a ball in this video, it appears to me that you're throwing like a girl. Now there is one cure for this, and one and only. Go out to a big lake and get you a pile of rocks and just throw them as hard and as far as you can. Now with time and a lot of work, you can overcome that girly arm of yours. It doesn't always work, but I suspect it will work for you. Now, you claim that you are a very, very good dodgeball player, and I believe you, Dax Lane. Now, see, when we were in school, we didn't use the, the little soft, nerfy, nerfy balls. No, we used them big old plastic ones, them hard rubber ones that you can squeeze a little bit, and when it hits you, it leaves a big old red patch on your side. You know which ones I'm talking about. Them jokers hurt. Now, when I was in school, there's just one boy. And he was, to put it mildly, he was retarded. But let me tell you something. That joker, he had an arm on him. An arm that was like a cannon. When he got that ball, look out, because he was going to knock you clean off the court. Leave your head all red on the side, because he, man, he was like a head seeker. Head seeker, poof, knock you right out. But let me tell you, he was a wonderful target because that poor joker, he, he'd stand right there. You'd hit him square in the face, and he just wouldn't even flinch. It was a horrible sight, thinking back on it. <laughs> yeah, it was, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> he was retarded, man. Come on. Hell, he threw harder than any of us could. Don't laugh. That joker had superhuman strength. He could hurl a ball so damn hard it'd pick you up off your feet when it hit you. But Dax, he didn't throw like a girl. <laughs>